right here on Hip Hop Connection, I have a wonderful guest in the studio. This is going out to all my Facebook viewers, <laughs> all my YouTube viewers. You're going to love this one right here because I, I got you some something to see other than me. <laughs> right now, we're going to talk to the one and only Camille Lee. What's going on with you? Hello. How good are you? To, I'm wonderful. I'm <laughs> wonderful. It's good to have you on here. Uh, you just came off a really busy week here in Washington, D.C. Mm. You've been running around doing your thing. And originally, you're from here, but you live in New York right now. Love New York now. Love New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why we have you here is because you're doing a lot of different things, but your the the, re the way we come to know you is as a reality television star which is strange because you say you don't like cameras so <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the whole start of the reality television star person that you are okay so where do we start where where would you like to start which show would you know. want to start with which one did you like the most or dislike the most um i Dislike the Real Chance show that okay. was on, which is where everybody pretty much knows me from. That's where I started. And I liked the I Love Money okay. better. So basically, Real Chance show got you on to I Love Money. Right. So you started with that. And the whole thing about these reality shows, especially like Real Chance of Love, is that you come into there with a lot of different women who are <laughs> vying for the love of either real or, or his chance. brother chance and they strip you of your government name so to speak, <laughs> and give you nicknames yeah and your nickname happened to be hot wings hot wings how did that come about because i worked at hooters all righty <laughs> so simple minds come up with simple ideas. Yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, how did you even get on that particular show? I mean, how'd that come about? What made you say, you know what, I'm going to try out? Um, I didn't try out. I, they uh, found me. Wow. Yeah, they sent me an email and was like, do you want to do the show? Come to New York and do an on-camera interview. Okay. And then the next day I drove to New York. Wow. And then they picked me for the show. So how did the producers find you? I mean, what was it that you were doing that they were like, we need to talk to this? I was trying to do like a little bit of modeling before. Okay. And I guess they ran across my pictures on the internet and then sent me an email. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. so how, how long did you stay on the show? I won. You won. Mm -hmm. You're a winner. I'm a winner. So <laughs> real or chance? Chance. Chance. And how long did that last once the cameras went off was that whole connection over or did the connection last i mean the show was kind of scripted a little bit so it wasn't like real okay so once it was over it was, it was over. over it was once done. they said cut that yeah was it. i was like all right back home <laughs> so all right you're giving us a little insight on this whole reality thing um some of the shows are reality driven and then others are more scripted mm-hmm and I love money. You love that one because it was it less was scripted. yeah, it was less scripted. It was more I don't know how to describe it, but it wasn't like real chance. It was completely different. You okay. didn't really have to like do what people told you to do to make the show interesting. You could kind of be yourself. Okay. So I like that show better. Describe the show. What kind of show what is I Love Money? It's like a competition where you take all the people from all the other of love shows and you put them in one big house and like they compete in all these like wacky crazy challenges for money. Wow. And whoever makes it to the end wins the money. So it's like $250,000. Not bad. Not a bad Not at all. <laughs> but like how many, how long do you all shoot these shows? A usually? month. But um, they make it seem like it's a period over right. three months. Right. But we were only like the real chance I was only there for a month and um, I love money. I was in Mexico for a month. So you could basically make two hundred and fifty dollars for a month's work. It's yeah. like a little vacation. It was like a mini vacation, but it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> a mini vacation that's horrible. It was horrible because like Mexico, like the food was really bad and it was like really hot and the bugs are like right. And you can't drink the water. Can't drink the water yeah, at my all. My wife found out the hard way. Yeah, I did too. She ate fruit. 
that was exactly what I did. Them. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I rinsed my apple off and ate it, and next day I was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, you don't think because you don't, you know, you don't do that here. You rinse it, you eat yeah, it. Yeah, both good. my shows, I got sick. Actually, on real chance, I had to be taken to the hospital for one time. Wow. I spent over. I was really dehydrated. I was drinking too much alcohol. <laughs> I got really dehydrated out of me not so. I've noticed that with the reality shows, alcohol plays a huge part. Because it's free and it's going. always there. <laughs> always there. And when you run out, they bring more. <laughs> so it's like, all right. So as opposed to water and juice, you drink alcohol. We, I mean, I, I guess. Mimosas in the morning and... Uh, I, no, no, no. I drink like a lot of pineapple juice and anything mixed in that. Okay. A lot of tequila. That's where my tequila thing started was in Mexico. Talking about tequila, what's one of your favorite tequilas? I stay away from tequila at this point. Oh, now I you're drink done it too much. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drink Patron so much and now if I drink it like I get really sick. Oh, okay. Well your like body's instantly. telling you that it Yeah, my enough. body's like, no, no more. All right. So now we've talked about how this came about. Let's talk about what you're up to right now. What are you doing? Um, well, I'm working on my own show. Okay. Can't really talk about it though. We and can't talk about it. Not too much. Shh. All right, you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> She's not working on the show. Not at all. But, but she'll, and, you'll see her. Um, just hosting parties and just trying to get my life together, I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as far as hosting parties, what is that all about for someone like you? Like, I know they they'll put on a flyer so-and-so is gonna be here and da 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 you go in for like a five minutes wave show your face and you're out or do you do a little bit more i mean i like when i host parties i just show up if people want to take pictures of me i take pictures i okay. drink i party not i have tequila. fun not to do it <laughs> i think I, I think i only drink with ciroc now okay yeah well diddy would be happy diddy's very happy with me <laughs> good i drink a lot of his ciroc okay. <laughs> but yeah I mean, so you kind of hang out for a little bit. It's like hanging out. It's like having fun. It's kind of like a good job, I guess, because you just have fun. You get now, paid to do it. would you suggest other people, you know, younger teenagers and people in college to go into this type of career where you become a reality star slash hostess um, slash, <laughs> you know, on your own television show that we're not talking about? It, it depends on like, if, it depends on the type of person. Okay. Cause I'm not really too used to it myself. Right. Um, you really don't have privacy after a while. Okay. And if you're a very private person, I would say, hell no, don't get into it. Right. Because people are always in your business. Right. And always paying attention to you. And like, you get a lot of haters. <laughs> I understand. So like, if you can't deal with all that put together, then no. So do you tweet? I tweet a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. I tweet too much. Yeah, I know, well, right. I used to tweet, but I mean, I used to tweet a lot, but I slowed down a little bit. Because you're too busy to tweet. No, <laughs> I, I keep my cell phone in my hand 24-7. Well, I mean, because, you know, you were talking about, you know, the haters and everything. And I, I noticed, like, a lot of people tend to be your fans. You'll have a lot of fans, but then you have these people over here that's talking a yeah, lot of stuff. Yeah, but when they meet you, they act like fans. So. Okay. <laughs> so you, They're confused. I understand. Don't matter. <laughs> so, okay, now let's talk about the privacy thing. How have things changed since, you know, before you worked at Hooters and then you became a model and now how's this, how's the life changed? Um, I mean, I haven't had like a real job, I guess. And like, since I've done the show, I've just been hosting parties and I mean, it has changed, like, where I go places, people recognize me. I try to play it off and lie sometimes and be like, no, I'm not who you think I am. But, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a lot different. A lot different. A lot different. Nothing is, nothing is the same. And it's weird because, like, before the show, you know, I met people who've done shows and, like, the producers and even the director of the show right. was like, your life's going to change. And I was like, whatever. Like, I kind of blew it off. But, yeah, it definitely changed a lot. And how are you dealing with the change? Is it is it a welcome change, or are you kind of having some hard times? It takes some to time it? to get used to. Like in the beginning, it's fun at first because mm. you're like, oh yeah, I'm traveling here, there, but it gets annoying because you're never at home and you can never stay in the same spot. And then right. sometimes you just want to lay in your bed all day, but you know you got to get up out of bed and go do certain things that you don't want to do. So it takes some time to get used to. But you you you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing, doing good. Well. I'm not gonna <laughs> complain about it. Cool, cool.